Give the big round of applause for Sean O'Leary. Who else was confused? It's 8 o'clock shot at 7 o'clock show. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Alright, anyway. <laughs> Guys, listen. My wife and I, we did donate some of the, the door prizes over here. We work at a store across the street called Retro Relics. We are Keys Cutlery and Keys Love Jewelry, so I sell knives and swords. So I do that and I do comedy, so I'm going to kill on or off stage that depends on you. <laughs> All right, so before we, before, and yesterday, my wife and I went out to, to dinner, and we were at this restaurant, and everybody at the restaurant called me a hero because I prevented my wife from choking. All I did was remove my hand from her throat. <laughs> By the way, I want to tell you guys, I'm kind of nervous tonight. I haven't been on stage in a long time. And you know what they say when you're nervous? They tell everybody to pick, they tell you to picture everybody in their underwear. I want to thank this whole side for coming to Mando tonight. <laughs> And by the way, Sean, nice dog. <laughs> All right, so did you guys have this 2023? Woo! Yes. Good, I'm with the rest of you. Yes. Oh, no, this year I turned 54 years old. Every year around my birthday, my parents bust my balls. Key, when are you going to cut your hair? I keep telling them never because when I get old enough, this becomes the ultimate co-mother. <laughs> I just want to let you know I'm running for president next year. <laughs> <laughs> I have things going wrong with my body now that I'm in my 50s, not like when I was in my 20s. Things like I have joints that are starting to predict the weather, which is kind of weird for weed, don't you think? <laughs> but I know who my weed smokers are out here. <laughs> I get Charlie horses at some of the most in inopportune times, right? My wife comes out in this sexy negligee, I'm getting a sniffy in my calf. <laughs> I'm rubbing out my can, she says, keep it over yourself, you're Irish, you're not that big. <laughs> I have diabetes now, my doctor says I absolutely have to stay away from candy, which is weird because they've been telling me the same thing at the strip club for years. By the way, fellas, the strip club is our dollar store. Woo! So now I tell my wife we're going to the dollar store. <laughs> Picture, I come home covered in glitter. I was in the arts and crafts section. <laughs> I'm starting to say things I never thought in my life, things like I remember when. Things like I remember when sticking it to the man was not the slogan promoting gay marriage. <laughs> I remember I remember when. I remember when a GPS was the woman sitting next to the car. Stop changing directions, will you? Ask him! Ask him! Ask him! Recalculating. <laughs> I remember when standing in the bushes was hopelessly romantic. <laughs> Yes, and you had that boombox over your head with the cheesy 80s music. Do you want my body? And you have sex. <laughs> Come on, baby, let me know. <laughs> yeah. I remember when my wife and I used a spoon. Now we label. <laughs> I also remember when, I remember when rainbows used to identify with the, uh, right, the Irish. Now they're just gay. <laughs> I remember when that joke worked. Thank you. I remember when I remember when my daughter ignored me, acted like I was not there. That day I identified as transparent. I remember when the Golden Girls was a show, not a shower. Oh, you guys like the darker you were. Alright, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. I remember when I remember when R. Kelly was the original streaming service. <laughs> yes. I remember when I remember when <laughs> I remember when a cell phone was calling from prison. <laughs> I remember when kids with ADD were simply cured by saying, Shut up! <laughs> I remember when going to the bathroom was not a Facebook status. <laughs> I remember when every morning I would wake up and get morning wood. I'm so glad I got out of that prison. <laughs> yes, and I remember, when, I remember when I could move into a new neighborhood and not have to sign on to one of those online credit beliefs. <laughs> what the hell did I know? I thought it was colony. was synonymous with Little League. <laughs> I, yeah, I like you guys. You let me know when a joke sucks. Thank you. <laughs> so anyway... <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I did mention that I'm married. Thank you for not clapping. Um, my wife is 
great woman. When she sleeps at night, she curls herself up in the covers like some sort of cocoon. So in the morning, I'm expecting this beautiful butterfly, right? <laughs> you know, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm expecting good morning, dear. Instead, I got stop with that thing. <laughs> My wife for Christmas, I gave her one of those Ouija board shirts. The other day, I grabbed the boob. I saw the demon. Oh, <laughs> she was mad because I grabbed her in a family restaurant. I said I was trying to make a family. <laughs> this place is called Friendly's, right? <laughs> I wanted my happy ending. <laughs> well, uh, also, I am a musician. I sing for a band when I tell people that they, they always ask me the same question. When did the Partridge family reunite? <laughs> I look like Danny Partridge after he ate the other children. <laughs> I was in the death metal band for diabetics. We were called Death by Chocolate. <laughs> and we had our hit song, Pour Some Splendor on me. <laughs> I don't know if I can reach all the way over to the guitar over here, so... I'm just going to hand this back to you for a second. Oh, yeah, he always does music. Woo! 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 <laughs> so my wife and I were married for a long time, and our, uh, on our 10th year anniversary, she asked me to write her a love song. I did. I want to play that song for you right now. I just feel like I did the lighting, so you can write it. That's perfect. Thank you. Woo! Woo! So it goes something like this. Ha 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 ha! 